is a lot that you can go once you grab that combo, right? So don't just think about that, just that combo. There's a lot of other paths. Flying, elbow, uh, flying underhook series slash uh, elbow hook series, I'm generally looking for the Kimura, right? I'm looking to trap his head, settle him down. Once I get that Kimura, there's so many places it can go. That's just one basic path. Come up, Kimura HQ, press through, get that Kimura. You can easily go back. You can easily go spider whip. You can go half whip right for the, that flash arm. There's a lot that you can go once you grab that Kimura, right? So don't just think about that just that Kimura, there's a lot of other paths, right? That obviously we don't have time to go over. So that's if he's gripping up on the inside, right? Sometimes what happens though, is once I grab the Kimura, he grabs around my leg to defend the Kimura. So what happens when, when that goes down? So same thing, starting off, we're in quarter Z, start to show the DMs just so to get, get my elbow in, I come right back. Let's back up a little bit. I'm inside. Chest over, release that hand, all in one, boom. Fly for that chin strap, elbow hook, slam those feet to the mat. Cross your feet. As I let go of the chin strap, I'm gonna suck my hips in. I'll even tuck that head in with my hand. So now when I fall to my shoulder, so I can grab that double uh, hook, elbow hook, his head's nice and trapped. Left fist inside, connect the Kimura. So now, Let's say once I put the Kimura here and he's gripping, oh, actually he's already doing it, perfect. He's gripping around my leg now, right? Now the grip is a little bit different. So as long as he stays committed here, I have the option to go to the rear triangle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna connect the Kimura. I'm still gonna come up to my knee, boom. But this time I'm gonna sit my hip around. I'm gonna fall to my right hip and let my foot come out and stomp on that hip. Once I'm here, he's gonna be kick, holding this for dear life. If he tries to let it go, if he lets it go, boom, he's giving me that retry, right? So that's why I put my foot on the hip. Once I put my foot on the hip, now I'm gonna start to slide it down to the thigh. Hold, hold really tight, Mike. It's gonna be really hard for him to hold because I'm actually stretching the Kimura at the same time. So I'm not just kicking with my legs, I'm falling back with this Kimura. By putting his shoulder over his head, it's gonna be hard for him, one, to go knee to chest, but also to squeeze his legs at the same time as I'm stretching him out. So make sure I'm not just kicking, I'm stretching him out. Kick at the thigh, once this leg goes free, chop over, triangle. Once I get the rear triangle, my next step, the first thing I'm looking for is I'll stick with this Kimura. Um, I believe Luis calls this the slack Kimura. Really, really effective Kimura, especially from this angle. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fall off my elbow to my shoulder. Now, a lot of people try to break the Kimura over their leg, right? Which you can, but you're going against his grip, right? Again, he's fighting me the whole time. Instead of trying to go this way, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the Kimura towards his belly, squeeze my elbows together, and slowly break and tap. You see that? So what I'm doing is I'm taking the slack out of his shoulders. When I squeeze my elbows together, it's especially my left elbow that's get, taking up all that slack. 
So when I do this, I'm focusing mainly on that left elbow as I press down. And now I don't even need to get any rotation. I'm going straight and getting the tap. Once I get the tap, boom, now I'm gonna grab the thumb, take the arm. So now for this arm bar, key concept in the arm bar, guys, really basic. I don't know if you've heard this before, but this really helped me out with my arm bars. Follow the pinky, right? If he's turning his elbow this way, as long as I follow the pinky, I'll find the tap. He goes the other way. Go against the pinky, I'll find the tap. It's sideways, I'll find the tap. So wherever the pinky is, that's why I like to grab the meat of his thumb. Now if he tries to turn, I have control over it. I'll reinforce at the pinky as well and go against the pinky to get that tap. One more time. Z, press, inside, back to Z. Release, get your chest over. Find that elbow. Once I'm here, he's gripping up around my leg. I'm gonna cross. Boom, come up, stuff that head, fall back down, double hooks. Connect the Kimura, come up to the knee. Now when I come up, I'm gonna fall to my right hip, let my foot pop out on the other side. Once it's on the other side, now I'm gonna connect to the hip. Once I'm on the hip, now I'm gonna slide to the thigh, fall back, start to kick, and free. Once this is free, I'm either gonna chop over. If you need to get correct your angle, I'll go foot on the hip to correct that angle to get that perfect triangle. Once I'm here, fall off your elbow, slack Kimura, straightening, bring that left arm, grab the thumb, pull, wherever he's pulling, I'm gonna go against the pinky. There you go. Good job, Kimura. Good job, up, trap the head. You gotta come up to your knees. There you go. Trap the head. And then push through. Pull up and out. Three rounds, two burpees. Who else is competing? I just said the whole names right there. No, who else? Who oh, what teams? Yeah. Austin, so Kamoi. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Tucson's got a team. Uh, for sure, Atos got a team. So I don't know. Oh shit! Yeah, hopefully so it'll be like eight teams. It's, it's gonna be legit. It's gonna be legit as fuck. So we're like we're trying to like put all the weights together, and if we make that team right there, nobody will have to cut weight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Here we go. Boom. Oh, Damn it. What's up, Damn. There he What's is. Yeah. I was just Good talking about you. How are you? Good yeah. to see you too. What's up, Weiss? Champ, 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 champ. Damn. 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 Here, Been a now. while. Whoa. All the boys are here now. <laughs> Damn. Straight from there. Woo. Hey, I'm performing there. What is he doing? Should I go home? We don't need you anymore. Should I go home? They don't even let me practice with the drills. I had zero practice. So pretty much I'm gonna hit it from the first time. Or I hit it, or not. I, I didn't practice it at all. With the drills, yo, I'm being just honest. I will post it after the show. <laughs> or it's gonna be like a documentary or something. So. The shit is for real. <sighs> this is me. So you have four drills in case of back and they lift the body. Alex, yeah. if you, that's going through you and you're on it, okay. yeah. hold on to the pole.
That's my nap. This time is gonna be. What's your name over there? Rob. Rob. Oh no, the that thing. The, stretcher. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Rob the, the Rob is the guy, the, the <laughs> lifesaver. What's the. It's a stretcher. Stretcher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He's like, brother, don't ask me this. Just tell me. When we compete, just come. Just come get me, we go. That's it. <laughs>
mixer. All right, so before we move on to the next thing, um, uh, obviously I'm, I'm showing that uh, rear triangle off of a very specific reaction, right? When he grabs around your leg. But sometimes you can set it up even if he doesn't grab around your leg, right? Let's say I grab the Kimura, he defends traditionally in between his leg and himself, right? And maybe you're not confident in getting that Kimura out. Or maybe you come up to your knee and you just can't kick that leg free, right? You can still go to this, you just have to chop your way through. So just real quick, just so you guys can kind of see it. I'm coming in, forcing DMs, pummeling inside, boom, get that chest over, release that hand, I fly over, nice and heavy. I'm gonna let go, excuse me, cross my feet, let go of the chin strap, come up, push that head in, get nice and close to that hand. Fall down, overhook first, just to get some control, open them up, left hand in, come on. Now let's say I build up to my knee, and I'm trying to kick out, but he's a beast. He's, he maybe has knee pants on. I really, he has a lot of traction, I can't get out. Okay, I'll come back up to my knee, pop it out, come this way. Now it's a lot easier for me to kick out because I have the Kimura on my side to stretch him out. It's gonna be really hard for him to keep that. Now this time when I go for the, the triangle, I have to chop my way through, but you'll get there, right? So you can do the same steps if he grips up traditionally, right? Obviously it's way easier though, if he's grabbing around that, that leg, he's like giving it to you, right? So when he grabs around that leg, I'm always thinking rear triangle, all right? So next, most of the time, when you go up against a good guy, this is generally what's gonna happen in the elbow hook though. I go for the elbow hook and he releases the leg, right? Oftentimes, as I'm going for it, the guy's already kicking his leg out, right? So what happens when you lose the leg? So same thing, I'm coming inside, Z, quarter Z, press for DMs, pummel inside, back to Z, I'm opening them up, chest over, release that hand, I fly it over. Boom. Now let's say he releases that leg, he gets a, a butterfly in, and now he, he, once he frees, he wants to turn away from me with his hips. Right, so he's, he's gonna free that leg, as he's turning away, boom, I step over and trap that hip. Now if I'm tight enough, I should be able to still have his head trapped I'm gonna let go of the chin strap and go double hooks right here. You see that? Now, it's gonna depend what happens next on his reaction. If he continues to go this way, I'm gonna let him go around, grab the wrist, knee high, grab over, all back to the body. So now I have double over hooks here with the two on one. Once I'm here, my head's on this side, I'm immediately gonna look to grab. From here, that you should expect a hand fight. Once you grab the shoulder, I'm gonna come up and C cup that off, punch behind, get your RNC. Same thing. Quarter Z, step over, pummel inside. Chest over, release that hand. Boom. He releases the foot. Rip swings his hips away. Boom, I step over. Trapping that hip. Once I'm here, let go, double hooks. From here, if he does nothing, I'm gonna go for the Kimura. Generally though, once I'm in the double hooks, he's usually gonna go this way. So if he goes hard, I'm gonna allow his head to come through, trap. So now I don't have a gift wrap here. I have a two on one double over hooks. So you need to be quick. I'm still trapping his head though, so he can't go dark haven or safe haven. But I need to get my left knee nice and high and wedge it behind his back. Once I'm here, now I feel pretty confident that I can take the back. I'm gonna pull, yank him over, chest to back, body triangle. Oh, once I'm here, already I'm controlling that far arm. Immediately grab. Once he starts to hand fight, I like to see cup that away and then punch through. Chin down. So key thing, a uh, couple key details on, on this RNC finish, right? So if he has his chin tucked and you're kind of on the jaw, so uh, I believe I saw Gordon teach this once and I've been using it ever since. So before I start squeezing with my arms, I need to get my forearm underneath his chin, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to put a bend in his thoracic spine. By doing that, I'm gonna go a couple steps. First one is chest in, head down, hip in. Chest in. Elbows down, hip in, until I can finally get a nice squeeze on that neck. And the idea is he wants to be curled in to protect, right? 
But if I'm putting pressure on his back and bending his spine up, it's gonna be almost impossible for him to strongly keep that chin down, right? So I'm using my back muscles to start and straighten that out. The very important part is elbows down to secure your elbows beneath his chin. Then I can start to squeeze and get that tap. Can I see you say? Okay, force the DMs, pull me inside, I'm back. Chest over, release. Pummel for that inside. He's gonna pummel that leg away. I'm gonna trap. Once I trap, I'm gonna stuff that head. Double overhooks. If he does nothing, the Kimura is right there for you guys. Same steps. Boom. Right. But if I get to double overhooks and he starts to turn hard, boom. Let that head fall. Keep nice and tight on that hip. Double overhooks. Excuse me, double hand control. I'm gonna fold that. Any questions? That's it, guys. Ready? Calvin, get in there. One, two, three. Nice. 